okay now we start interview session interview discussion session is not the complete interviews okay this is just just practice interviews and dummy interview session to improve his skills and which type of questions uh, will be asked during interviews i will revise and i will Im implement okay so the first question from ankita from you okay oh, what is the difference between white box testing and uh, black box testing uh, sir white box testing is done by developer in white box testing uh, the build is with the developer and developer will see each and every line of the uh, of the de of the uh, each and every line care in white box testing is done by developer in this developer read each and every line of the code and see whether it is correct or not if it is correct correct then it will give the build to the tester and in black box black box testing is done by the tester in black box testing uh, the uh, build is ready with the tester and uh, tester but tester cannot see that build tester only test that build okay that, that is the basic difference between white box and black box testing okay means black box testing cannot be done by developers if any yes, sir. no black box testing is done by a tester only if developer want to do a black box testing then they are allowed or not so uh, they can uh, see it but uh, uh, it is done by sir tester black box testing is done by tester and white box testing is done by developer okay 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 pink case now the your turn okay uh, tell me the faces of sdlc according to v model uh according to v model sir yes uh v model v model basically known as a verification and validation model okay. uh, <coughs> in this model um, we uh, we perform the the both cases verification and validation uh, according to this model top to bottom approach uh, first we done requirement gathering uh, in this requirement gathering we perform the acceptance testing and after that uh, system analysis in the system analysis we perform the system testing and uh, after that uh, software uh, design uh, in this software design we perform uh, uh, in integration testing and uh, after module design or unit design in in that case we perform unit testing and after that coding is totally uh, yeah, it is the uh, uh, v model sir this is the v model okay 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 now susmita yes sir uh, tell me the number of phases of agile model means how many number of phases uh, will be implemented into the agile model yes sir uh, sir firstly yes uh, agile uh, agile model is the uh, combination of the iterative uh, iterative and incremental model in the agile model uh, we are dividing our project into uh, different different uh, different different parts um in uh, in the uh, agile, uh, agile model multiple teams uh, multiple teams are having and, uh, and each team having their uh, one manager that manager is called as the scrum manager uh, in the uh, in the agile model uh, the whole uh, whole team is working uh, working in the uh, in the type of the sprint it means uh, one uh, one time in the in the one time period uh, for example in the uh, uh, in the uh, agile model if uh, um, uh, if uh, if we are developing one uh, project then tester will test the project and after that it will give to uh, it will uh, it will give to the client uh, for uh, for review if the client is review that project and he uh, and uh, he or she will be say that is the okay then you uh, then we can continue for the for our next next planning so uh, in this way in the agile model we uh, we are dividing our project in different different parts so that uh, uh, its performance will be increased and uh, uh, there will be the uh, like uh, uh, like uh, like insufficiency for 
four uh, four of any sir bug on bug and the issue at the same time when we are the uh, when we are uh, when we are uh, developing uh, the develop, developing our project at the same time uh, a client can review the project they both can work uh, parallelly in the project okay means client and company both will work parallel uh, actually sir when we are developing the small parts of the project then we can give to the client that uh, for the review if the client can review the project if there is some any lake or bug then a uh, client will sh uh, share to us that uh, he, you you have to do some uh, uh, changes in our project then after the changes we can do we can go for next step okay after changes we can go for next step yes okay after changes we can go to next step means uh, you want to say that uh, in same build it will be implemented or another build will be created for this no in the same build uh, in the same build it will be implemented after the build uh, we will again uh, go for uh, go to go towards the client that he will uh, he or she will be see that uh, all all the terms and condition will be okay or not project project will uh, the small part that we developed it will work properly or not in the same build sir we will uh, do the changes okay. after that we will move to the next build Okay, okay, okay. Now, now, lovely. Yes, Tell me the number of phases of incremental model. Incremental. Yes. Sir, uh, uh, incremental model basically divides in. Uh, it is a sub. We can say sub part. Uh, sub part of waterfall model means in which uh, we can uh, uh, sir, sir divide various modules and uh, then we uh, apply on that uh, means all the steps of waterfall model. So like uh, firstly requirement analysis, so okay. then designing, so then uh, development, testing, deployment and uh, 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 maintenance. So all the steps of waterfall uh, fall model, model will be same in incremental model. But in this we divide our whole uh, so, uh, uh, software or uh, application into different modules. So okay. Like okay. 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 Yeah. Means uh, you can say that uh, uh, incremental model is similar to waterfall, waterfall model. model. Means okay. incremental model and waterfall model both are working in same structures. Yes, okay. But what is the difference between waterfall model and incremental model? In which project you will prefer waterfall model? In which pro project you will prefer incremental model? Sir, yeah, in any project, if we have enough time. To uh, uh, means to make our project means we have uh, uh, and uh, large amount of time we can say and uh, uh, and if we have a lesser time and we have to deliver it uh, faster then we use uh, incremental model because it divides it into uh, several modules, so different modules. Okay. Okay. After each module, we can easily uh, uh, provide it to the client so that uh, okay. for review and. Uh, okay. The main difference is that incremental model is also called multi waterfall model okay it is also called multi waterfall model means if we want to combine the multiple waterfall models into the single project to deliver the project very fastly yes. at that case at that scenario we will prefer okay. incremental model okay and incremental model will work by one by one step by step means first you will not plan the complete project you are plan for a particular path if this part will be completed after that you will proceed to next part Okay, incremental model has been modified and agile model has been created. Means you can say that agile is the modification of incremental model. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now I am asking another questions from Ankita. Okay, now again we are rotating from one by one. What is the difference between build and release? Build and release, sir. Are you heard about build? Yes, B -U -I -L -D. sir. I build. build. Sir, build is a, a build is a build is made by a developer. A build is a file that is compressed and compiled by a developer. And release uh, after uh, when a developer gives the build to the tester, and after that uh, tester, uh, when tester tests all the scenarios, all the test cases, then he will uh, again then he will uh, uh, release that after all the test cases if, if we find 100% to test to uh, 
test uh, in test closer activity if we have 100% accuracy then we can release our project so so build is done by the developer and after the build or uh, the we can release our project build is a comp, uh, compile or compress file that is done by a developer okay 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 now the next question is from pinkes okay yes. tell me the number of faces of stlc uh, st only, in only ST. the name of faces not the not not to explain it only the name of faces uh, software uh, basically stlc means software testing life cycle it's uh, contained totally in number of six faces uh, first is requirement analysis then uh, second one is uh, test planning then test case development uh, then environment setup then test uh, case execution and uh, after that uh, last one is test case closure test cycle closure test cycle closure okay okay now susmita you tell what is the difference uh, between alpha testing and beta testing um uh, sir in uh, alpha testing before uh, before delivering project to the client we are uh, sir one second uh, before delivering uh, project to the client we are doing the te uh, testing uh, testing is done or in the beta testing uh, after delivering the project to the client uh, the project will be run in the uh, real environment or not it will be tested by the beta tester okay means beta tester can be implemented by company or not mm. beta testing can be implemented mm. by a company or not i uh, yes sir it, it can be implemented by company it means a final a final project uh, it will work in real environment yes sir it will be uh, implemented by company only then what will be the difference between alpha alpha and beta if beta testing mm. will be implemented to the company then then no need to alpha testing i think that ah uh, sir i don't know about the whole uh, only i uh, i read the definition okay i read you are you have read the definition sorry okay lovely uh, yes yes alpha testing and beta testing sir, i don't you heard about it Yes, sir. I have read it, but I don't exactly. Okay, the main difference uh, between alpha testing and beta testing is that alpha testing generally implemented into the company internal team means company. If company's internal team check the whole process of an applications, then this is called alpha testing. Okay. Beta testing will never checked by the company. Okay. Beta testing is especially implemented for clients. and real time users if you release your product for real time users to test with real time data then you will implement this product to beta testing okay that means beta testing you can say that this is the actual product version but company not tested 100% to this product and they want to implement the reviews of clients under testing then they will implement beta test so that is the difference between alpha testing and beta testing okay yes tell me the difference uh, between test scenario and test cases lovely you yes uh, sir test uh, scenario basically uh, is designed by uh, mostly designed by developers or uh, seniors uh, uh, in uh, testing engineers uh, they uh, test scenario means uh, uh, sir dividing the whole uh, application into different we can say modules or uh, uh, sections so that uh, uh, and uh, uh, in test cases we make different uh, cases inside that module to test the whole feature means it's step by step by step okay okay and sir uh, test cases basically made by uh, junior uh, yeah, testers test cases made by junior testers 
test cases executed by junior testers. Okay, okay. Sir, can I tell more differences? Yes, yes. Uh, sir, in test scenario is a single line and test cases is a, uh, uh, it tells, matlab, in test scenario is a single line but test cases is various component and each component has multiple lines. Uh, test scenario is a give the short description and test cases is the uh, give the brief, uh, give the whole project knowledge. M means if tester uh, can uh, we, uh, if we have hundred percent knowledge of uh, project then we can with the help of test scenario we can only see uh, we can only test. But uh, with uh, with the person who have zero knowledge of testing with the help of test case they can only they can also test the uh test cases so means in the uh, test case uh, means we can uh, test matlab anybody can test the uh, with the help of test cases anybody can get the full idea of the project but in test scenario only uh, uh, experienced person can test the project because it is a single line document okay okay in case you can tell the difference uh, between test cases and test test scenarios uh yes, sir. Uh, basically test scenario is the uh, uh, small description or uh, or what what will be performed on uh, on the development phases uh, so, uh, basically shows it shows the uh, what will be performed in uh, what test cases or uh, what uh, what activity will be do uh, it shows test scenario but in case in the case of test uh, cases we uh, we perform all the activity one by one uh, and test the modules uh, one by one um, one by one uh, sequence in sequentially orders okay uh, so smita you know about test scenario and uh, test cases differences uh, yes sir what is uh, uh, sir, uh, the test scenario is small description. Yeah, in this, the only the uh, the person who know the all the uh, who know all about the uh, project or uh, project he he can write the test scenario. But in the test step, uh, small small step we uh, small step we have to write and uh, and the uh, person who doesn't have the knowledge about the uh, project he can also uh, do the uh, test steps uh, and. Um, Sir, only the experienced person can be uh, can be do the test scenario, and uh, the per the person who has the small knowledge that that can be also do the test cases. Okay, the main concern is that test scenario will be written by experienced or QA lead, and test scenario yes. can be written by testers, junior testers, or any team members of testing. Okay, test scenario is the heading. What do you want to test? Means the the heading or the summarizations. What do you want to test? That is called scenario. Means you can say that testing title. Okay. This decide the testing titles. Okay. Check login, verify login form of this, this, this site. That is called scenario. And when you will verify the login form, then you are creating the checkbox, test for username, password, valid username, password, invalid username, password. That is called test cases. Okay. The test case means step by step implementations of the scenarios. Okay. That is called test cases nothing else that means test cases is the sub part of scenario without scenario you can't write test cases okay the test cases completely depend on scenario okay okay now i am asking uh, next question uh, that uh, what is the difference uh, between bug and defect ankita you tell Bug and defect. Yes. Sir, I don't know bug. Sir, bug. Sir, bug is a. Uh, uh, you can find bug in any software and defect. No, I don't know. Sir. Okay, in case you tell. Sir, uh, basically any uh, after uh, software uh, software development um, testing team uh, analyze uh, uh, a bug uh, after testing uh, 
um, it's uh, it's not predefined uh, it's uh, uh, it's uh, determined after uh, the software uh, running running phases and um, and defect uh, defect it means uh, uh, it's totally uh, predefined sir, softwares means sir. defects is already defined lovely you tell sir uh, sir uh, uh, i think uh, bugs means uh, basically it uh, when uh, uh, testers do execution of, uh, on the of application then uh, the various errors they find at that time that will be called as bug and sir uh, uh, defects means basically if our software is totally means ready and we have to do just uh, final testing then we can define it means uh, our software is defective or not means a bug is means confirmance problems means if developer confirmed this bug that is called bug or defect means confirmance errors okay if the error is confirmed that is it is a error okay, sir. then this is a bug or defect that is a defect it is a defect yes okay. but we finally test susmita you you know about the differences between uh, bug and defect yes sir uh, sir uh, defect it may uh, sir bug at first time when tester test any uh, uh, any project then at the time uh, any error is come uh, error is came then it is called as the bug or uh, defect uh, defect in uh, and uh, at the time when the programmer um, uh, sir, defect uh, defect it will be at uh, at the end of the programmer or bug at, uh, bug is at the end of the tester okay means bug will be raised by testing team and defect will be raised by the, the no. by the by the development team you yes. say, you want to say that and customer if customer uh, detect any type of problems in applications then it is a bug or defect Sir, so it will it will be defect on. Okay, it will be the defect. Okay, means the answer of this question is that there are no more differences between bug and defect. In some books and in some articles, you 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 uh, clearly they say that both are same. But there are some minute differences. Okay, the testing terms it is called bug, and the client terms or developer terms or any other person terms it is called defect. Okay, so you can simply say that if any suspicion on problems that is called bug. If the suspicion or if the problems is confirmed or confirmed by the development team or confirmed by the clients or confirmed by the any other members of the company, okay, who is working on this project, then that is called defect. Okay, the defect means confirmed error. Bug means it can be or it cannot be. Okay, so the tester terms is the, the tester terms is bug. And the other persons, including developers, terms is defect. Nothing else. These are the differences, both of them. Okay. Okay. Now, Ankita again. The next question is that. Tell me the negative testing on login form of any web applications. What will be the negative testing you will implement? So negative testing is basically uh, not as per the requirement. It means negative testing means we are testing. Uh, not as per the requirement so in login form if we are entering uh, the without uh, at the red form just uh, suppose we have email id and password test script okay. so we are entering wrong data net that we are not adding any at the red symbol and we are to, uh, we are entering random data then it is the negative testing and in login form if we are entering uh, not at the rate and and in password we are entering wrong data then it is negative testing. Okay. Any other negative testing in case accepting this? What Ankita has already told. No. Yes, sir. In case of uh, negative testing, uh, we uh, we test uh, we test the software's uh, load and stress uh, uh, by by entering the wrong data, uh, wrong entries, and uh, test the um, test the total uh, stability and load uh, 
uh, load and stress of the means you software. are asking, you are you are you are telling about non functional testing i am just asking mm. about functional testing i am just asking about functional testing negative testing okay sir that's it sir uh, just entering uh, negative data it means uh, uh, wrong data or wrong entries and test the okay please. wrong data if you are entered okay it's correct if you are entering wrong data means invalid data if you test the applications for example in login form if you are entering invalid user id invalid password empty user id empty password okay invalid user id valid password valid user id invalid password means this type of data which is not matched with your credentials if you are entering this wrong format of email id so we are writing the test cases for negative aspects also we just not focusing the positive aspects means for testing both aspect is implemented both aspects of implementation both aspects of testing must be implemented into the modules okay now another questions from sushmita yes sir okay uh, what is the what is the test planning in software testing life cycle uh sir the in the process of the test planning we are testing uh, how um, how we have to plan to test sir i don't know about the uh, whole uh, description lovely you say in short the stlc life cycle not only the planning phase Sir, means what is the main task in test planning okay test planning phase yes okay uh yes sir uh, first we gather the requ uh, requirements after that test planning uh, phase comes in this uh, the, uh, the senior uh, sir software engineers or uh, testers sir decide uh, to, uh, to, uh, the whole plan of the means uh, the further plan of the whole uh, uh, application in which uh, they decide uh, uh, that sir uh, sir the test uh, scenarios sir test uh, how, which type of testing we will perform sir how uh, how many more, uh, and how many testers we hire for each means divide uh, firstly divide the modules and how many testers will do uh, will be provided in each module sir the time of uh, testing okay and uh, yes, <coughs> process of testing also okay means effort estimation time as estimation test coverage okay and the type of testing these are planned by the one test plan documents okay this is the most important phases because and this phase not will be implemented by one only testing team okay the most senior testing team are the test lead uh, will implement this phase okay So this phase is mostly implemented by test lead. You can simply say that, okay? Not the part of team members. Okay. Another questions. Tell me the name of five different browsers. In case browsers name. Yes. Five different browsers name. Hmm. Browsers. Uh, sir. Uh, Google Chrome, sir. Yes. Uh -huh. Opera Mini. Yes. Uh -huh. And sir, Angita, you say? Uh, Internet Explorer. Yes. So micro micro box no. Microsoft Page. Yes. Google Chrome. Yes. Firefox. Yes. Internet Explorer. Yeah, both are same. Internet Explorer and Microsoft Edge. It, it, it is the same implementation. Just slightly different. Okay. So Smita, you tell. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Ah, uh, sir. Ah, uh, Internet Explorer. Ah, uh, Google Chrome. Or uh, sir, Opera Mini. Three. 
मोजिला मोजिला फायरफॉक्स और और सर वन इज देयर लिंकस और सर लिंकस इन अदर नेम इज देयर आल्सो लिंकस सर वन इज लिंकस एंड वन टाइप ऑफ आल्सो नॉम इज देयर आई एम नॉट आस्किंग आई एम जस्ट आस्किंग अबाउट ब्राउजर्स नेम असर यूसी ब्राउजर आल्सो वी कैन यूज या यूसी ब्राउजर्स इट्स फॉर डेस्कटॉप एडिशन यूसी ब्राउजर्स है डेस्कटॉप एडिशन और मोबाइल एडिशन ओके यू से दैट एनी ब्राउजर सर हां सर इट इज द डेस्कटॉप हां इट इज द डेस्कटॉप एडिशन यूसी ब्राउजर है डेस्कटॉप एडिशन नो सर आई थिंक इट्स इट्स फॉर मोबाइल यूज इन एंड्राइड फोन यस यस इट इज द phone you say any other browser's name accepting this mm. or they already said mm. the next one is a safari safari is the also the browsers in mac if you are operating the mac operating system then by default the default browser is safari okay opera safari mm. safra safari firefox chrome and internet explorer these are the five mm. tell me the name of five web technology lovely Web applications, which is used to create the web applications. Okay. So Java. Yes. Java. So PHP. PHP. So .dot net. .dot net. Uh, so Python. Sir. Python. Fourth. Fifth. HTML. HTML is not. You say Pinkes. The name of five web technology. Sir, uh, Java, uh, PHP, Python, uh, C sharp, uh, C plus uh, plus. This is not C sharp. Is not the web technology. C plus plus is also not the web technology. Uh, In Java, what is used for web technology? If you are belonging from testing, then at least technology awareness you should know. Okay, means you should know about the five different operating system name, five different browsers name, five different web technologies name, five different database servers name. Because their name and what they will do, this type of knowledge also you should have. Okay, because the testing means the complete knowledge of technical implementations. this can be the related with database this can be related with operating system this can be related with browsers all these things should be covered okay now we stop today discussions and we again uh, continue this discussion to next week thanks for participations